Barcelona Femini will go head-to-head -head against Chelsea in the UEFA Women's Champions League final on May 16th in Gothenburg. Whilst the Blues have qualified for their first ever Champions League final, Barca will be playing in their second final in three years. They lost to Lyon 4-1 in 2019, but returning to the final is testament to the progress made. Central to that is their brand of football. Luis Cortes has the talent and the know-how to produce the kind of football expected of a Barcelona team, the technical finesse paired with the tactical nows to dominate and win. So ahead of Sunday's final, let's look at four Barca players to watch. Alexia Puteas is arguably Barca's most important player. She's an attack-minded midfielder who doesn't mind dropping deep to help where needed, even in unfamiliar positions. This offers her side passing options which is important because it means that Barcelona can retain possession without needing to risk going forward. Therefore, Puteas' special awareness is a crucial reason for her side's win. Her runs, passes and positioning make it much simpler for those around her and it gives them more space to do what they do best. She's not the fastest player on the pitch and she doesn't need to be because she uses her footballing IQ to see what others can't and do what others wouldn't even think of doing in that space in time. Caroline Graham Hansen Barcelona were already good before Caroline Graham Hansen arrived in 2019 from Wolfsburg, but with her, they vaulted into the elites. The Norwegian winger has added not only width to the stark family attack, but her dribbling prowess combined with her ability to deliver some of the best crosses you'll see in the game gives her forwards plenty of prime opportunities. There's a ruthlessness to her game, one that not only has her leading the team in assists, but also scoring in eight goals for herself. She mostly operates in the channels where her dribbling speed, change of pace, awareness to pick her teammates from crosses, and shooting on goal will cause Chelsea's backline trouble. Jenny Hermoso will be vying for a top scorer's finish, having already scored six goals in the Champions League this season. She's a forward with remarkable skill, versatility, and an understanding of the game, which allows her the opportunity to move back and create play at the midfield for players like Oshola, Martens, and Caroline Graham Hansen. Her speed and strength allows her to take on defense and make some great runs into the box, where she's proven that she can finish from any angle. She's easily able to find and occupy space with her superior technical skills and awareness of the game. Often, Hermoso takes on the role of false nine, which is a non-traditional style of play that allows her more freedom of movement. Lika Martens was imperious in Barca's second leg tie against PSG. She scored the two goals that eventually took her side to the final. The 28-year-old just reminded everyone why she is one of the top attacking players in Europe, if not the world. Mariona Caldente has been utilized more in her left-wing position as the Dutch mercurial forward has never really had a full healthy season. But when Martens is fit, Few defenders can stop her. This season, she's been both a starter and a rotation option for Luis Cortez, and having Martens as a wild card could swing a tie. Also on the watch list is Asisat Oshala, who has been inconsistent at times but has hit the back of the net 13 times in 17 Primera Division matches this season. Barcelona also have a strong backbone of Spanish internationals including Maria Leon, Patrick Guijarro, Marta Torrejon and Captain Vicky Lozada who've been able to keep things at the back pretty tidy. There's no doubt that this Barcelona side is full of talent and their recent results have been a reflection of this. But will they be able to finally clinch the top prize? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel Football Notes and share. Thank you for watching.